The Ezekiel choke came from a man named Ezekiel Paraguasu, and he was actually a judo student that was going to the 88 Seoul Olympics, and he wanted to tighten his game up, so he started using this choke, the Ezekiel choke. He was catching people with it, so they named the choke after him. He was from Carlson Gracie's school. Okay, so there's three types of Ezekiel chokes. We're actually four. There's one where they use the blade of the hand, and then they bring it over, and they put their hand on the blade, and that's a push one. So it's the blade, like a karate chop, mm -hmm. on the side of the carotid. That's number one. And you bring this down, and you reach under, and you go here. Your chest goes on your arm. The second one is the one that I learned and the one that I use the most. And you put your fist on their throat, you put your elbow on the floor, bring your hand under, and then hips and hook. That's powerful. The third one is kind of nasty, and what they do is they grab and they pull their fist in the side of the throat like this. They reach under and grab, like either the sleeve, or they pull and they drive the fist in. Now some people can withstand number three. Mm -hmm. Number four is Ezekiel choke, but instead of doing it here, because this is where the Ezekiel is, you're going to actually grab your biceps. So it's like a bicep slicer. You're gonna come like this. And then you're gonna, sorry, you're gonna choke him. It's a little bit different, but you're gonna come underneath like that. So, sorry. Go ahead, touch. You grab the bicep, and this hand comes under instead of over, it comes under, and you're gonna grab your biceps like this. This is done more so in judo. <coughs> this is the easiest. The easiest method is you just reach up and do this. So this is how you practice it. Put the fist and here. One is a karate chop, or two is a fist to the throat. Elbow hits the floor, hand comes under, you grab the top of your wrist, you put your hooks in deep so you can't bridge, and then you drop your chest on your... Now what happens is his defense is to grab my shoulders and pull down. That's his defense. Okay, the counter to the defense. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready? I'm gonna kill his defense. Um. He's gotta tap with his feet. Okay, so you kill the hands with your stomach. And then you come under and he has no defense. So you got the attack, you got the defense, and then we have... <coughs> The recounter. Got it? Uh, some, sometimes when he starts to turn here like this and he starts to try to escape, that's another good time to put the Ezekiel choke on. Why? Because his hands are down. You drop, you drop your fist and you drop your chest. So anytime they put their hands here and they put your fist here, bang, look at that. You got it? What about the lemon? What's that? Lemon crusher? Lemon crusher's different. I want to see the Ezekiel choke first. Mm -hmm. Now the Ezekiel choke is from the mount. If I have it here and he grabs my shoulders, he turns his head and he bridges. Okay, once I'm here, look at what I do with my legs. I climb my legs. And now I stretch. And that's how I put it on there. Got it? So the, se the same choke can be upside down, but you gotta climb your legs. You don't wanna be down here. You don't have the power. You wanna climb your legs. And now squeeze and pull. That's it. You got it? Okay, let's do it from the mountain. Let me see you guys do it. One, two, three.